What's going on guys? BSD Spear here back with another Destiny video. In today's video we're continuing our series Lost Exotics where we're showing you guys how to get the year 1 and year 2 exotics in year 3. This video is not intended for the older veteran guardians but really intended for all the newer guardians that have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so in the last uh, Lost Exotics video we showed you guys how to get your legendary swords, the part 1 to getting the exotics. In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade those legendaries to get the Raze Lighter, the Bolt Caster, and the Dark Drinker. Um, so, if you guys missed that video, link will be in the description, uh, or you can click this box right here. Uh, be sure to check that out. As always, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new here, and let's get started with how to get the Exotic Swords, Part 2. Once you have your legendary sword, the first step is simple, infuse the blade. We need to make sure that our sword is at least 280 light level uh, in order to move on to get the quest. Uh, you also need to make sure that all of the XP nodes are maxed out and completely filled. Um, if you don't have this, make sure you use modes of light, whatever you need to do to get it done. As soon as you max them all out, go talk to Lord Shax and he'll have the sword quest for you. Which then brings us to the next quest step, which is you have to get Major and Guardian kills with the sword. This quest part requires you to get 50 Major kills, which really isn't that hard. You can get them in doing anything. All I did was hop in a patrol on the Dreadnought and just stayed in the beginning area of the whole breach. Um, and use any of those Worm Singer runes if you have them, or summon any other type of champions uh, to bring out the Majors. Guardian kills, on the other hand, now that's the hard part. Um, it's actually not even that hard, it's just more time consuming than the major kills. The best thing that I would suggest is hop into Mayhem Clash. Um, this is simply because of the fact that uh, you get your heavy ammo a lot quicker, and so therefore you can get more sword kills. Now, there is a couple things to note. Uh, if you use the hilt, which is when you have no ammo uh, with the sword and you get a kill that way, it does count towards your uh, kill count. Um, but uh, it's a really slow two hit kill if you go that route, so that's why I suggest doing uh, some type of mayhem clash um, just because heavy ammo spawns in every minute and a half or so I believe um, and it's a lot easier. Another thing to note while you're trying to get your sword kills um, it's really easy if you just hide out with heavy. Uh, it's really cheesy, I know, but the point is to get the quest done, uh, and it's really frustrating when you're just trying to get kills. So what I did was I would use my Night Stalker and go invisible, running around with the sword. It's totally doable. Same thing can be done with a Titan. Pop a bubble around heavy, protect that heavy ammo, whatever you need to do. Um, so yeah, those are some tips and tricks to help you get this part of the quest done. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, it's only 25 kills you need, uh, but it can still be a pain. Once you complete this quest step, return back to the tower, talk to Lord Shax, he will give you the third quest step, uh, which is kill Eskthar. So what you're going to need to do is hop into patrol on the Dreadnought, uh, make your way to the mausoleum, and to this area known as the founts. Uh, once you get in this area there's going to be three specific knights you have to kill. Um, you have to kill all of them with one super uh, in order to get the door to open. Here as you can see I was using gunslinger uh, golden gun. Um, you also see here I was using storm trance with my warlock as well. Uh, so definitely use, use a super that you can definitely move around uh, it definitely helps because you will have to kill them all with one super use. If you don't, you'll have to leave the area and then wait till they respawn in just to get the door open. Continue your way through to the asylum uh, and then you'll see there's going to be some waves of enemies and then there you go, you see Eskar. Um, that is the enemy that you have to kill. Now he is immune to all damage except for sword once you drop his shield. Um, so in other words, you have to use your sword to drop his shield or um, anything else he's immune to. Once you drop his shield though, you can use whatever. 
um, and all you have to do is just keep keep hacking and slashing and you'll kill him and then you'll get the next quest step so this quest step is definitely the most tedious one um, basically what you have to do is you have to collect 10 rare materials and get ability kills for the type of sword that you're going for um, now for my hunter I was going for my um, bolt caster so I had to get arc kills and it sent me to earth so I was collecting spin metal um, basically farming it out uh, until I got enough rare materials uh, now the pickup the drop rate for these rare materials um, it's not specific it's it's random um, but from, from what I noticed it, I'd have to pick up probably about 8 to I want to say like 14 uh, spin metal leaves before I actually got one to drop so the drop rate is is kind of kind of low um, but you can only get these rare materials from actually picking up spin metal leaves you can't get them from buying spin metal uh, and you can't get them from opening chests with spin metal in it you have to actually go out and find spin metal leaves um, now if you're going for the uh, void one uh, you'll actually go to Mars and if you're going for the solar one uh, you will go to I believe it's Venus no it's the moon actually with helium um, so just just to give you guys a heads up where you'll be going now that brings me to another point to make this easier and quicker on you guys um, definitely pick up a ghost shell that has whatever material uh, sensor because it's gonna show you exactly where they're at once you come within a certain range it'll trigger it and you can see where these uh, actual materials are so you don't have to spend as much time picking or searching for them and more time picking them up another trick I want to show you guys that'll help this go a lot quicker is if you have a sniper rifle when you zoom in you can actually see uh, the especially with the ghosts uh, you can see where these materials are um, so as you can see I, I zoom in here and you can actually see there's ones you can see that are like all the way across the map but you can see them because you're zooming with the sniper rifle so use these two tricks to help you find your materials faster um, and definitely get your, work on your ability kills as you go um, that way ability kills you can get from doing anything you can do it from raids strikes PvP doesn't matter but I would suggest once you get done with your materials hop back into mayhem clash and grind it out to get your ability kills done once that quest step is completed and done the next quest step actually won't be unlocked until the next arms day uh, for those of you that don't know reset is on Tuesday the weekly reset on uh, arms day is every Wednesday so you have to wait till the next Wednesday in order to get uh, the final quest step to get your exotic sword finally the last step is to seal the blade all this is is a special strike of version of the Sunless Cell. The beginning and middle of the strike is exactly the same as before, just harder difficulty uh, for the enemies, uh, more of my shields. But what is the drastic difference is when you get to the end and you're fighting Ala Cool, there will actually be three uh, other knights in the area in the boss fight. Uh, so what you have to do is there's one for Arc one for solar and one for void now whichever sword you are going for so whichever ability kills you are working on that's going to be the knight that is your target and what you have to do is you have to kill that knight that specific knight and a la cool in that order uh, within 30 seconds of killing the first knight um, now the easiest way to do this is to have everyone agree and kill all of the ones you don't need so in this first clip, um, we were going for the Void, the Dark Drinker, so we killed all the other knights. We killed the Arc one, and we killed the Solar one, and just left the Void one. That way, all we had to do was get Alakul weak enough uh, to where we could kill him in 30 seconds, switch over, kill the Void one, and then kill Alakul real quick. And as you can see, we got the quest complete same thing here's us going for the arc one this time um, and the order that the knights spawn in uh, just so you know the first knight that comes out is the arc one the second one is the void one and third one is the solar one so if you just remember if you want to remember them by numbers you can do it that way too um, but 
That way, uh, it is exactly the same. The real, the all-time easiest way is to have everyone focus and just work on one night as, at a time. If you have to redo the strike uh, to do it, um, I would I would definitely do that because it's definitely going to be the easiest way to get this done. Once you complete that part of the quest, the sword is yours. Uh, you will return back to the tower, talk to Lord Shax, and he will give you either the Bolt Caster, the Dark Drinker, or just Ray's Lighter. Um, exotic swords are yours. Now, you can actually get all three swords on one character, and I'm going to show you guys a trick uh, how you can do that without going through all of the quest steps for each sword. So what you're going to want to do is once you have one of the exotic swords, go ahead and purchase the other legendary sword of another type. Infuse it up to 280, max out the um, experience nodes, and then what will happen is you'll automatically get the quest step and skip the first two. That way it goes straight to the planetary materials, you don't have to get the guardian kills and you don't have to kill Eskthar. Um, so if you do that, you can skip and save a lot of time uh, on those two quest steps. Alright guys, well that is going to be it for today's video. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like, uh, subscribe if you're new here, and thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is BSD Spear. Hope you guys have a great day. I uh, just want to give a huge shout out uh, to all the community, all the new subscribers to our uh, Twitter page, Facebook page, and YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Spear Squad. If you guys really enjoy this series, let me know. Uh, let me know what exotics you want to see next. Um, that way I kind of have an idea of which exotics you guys are needing. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's how you get your exotic swords. Um, until next time, Guardians, I'm BSD Spear, and I'm out.